Holy crap. Look at the size of that. Hello everybody. Today is March the 16th. I'm down in the Ridge and Valley portion of Maryland uh, where it's about 70 degrees right now. But if you can hear in front of me, sounds like there's a nice chorus of upland chorus frogs, which is a species I have only caught once before in my life. So I'm going to be uh, walking around in this kind of wet grassy field and I'm going to see if I can catch any and I'll update you guys when I do. So I walked over to this wet spot where those chorus frogs were just calling and immediately they shut up and I got to watch a couple of them dive under into the water. But this, this is all they're using is just this really small wet area. But I started poking through and right there, and honestly everywhere, some of this is algae, but some of these blobs of stuff. So right there, you can kind of see some eggs right in here, but just loaded with upland chorus frog egg masses, uh, which is something I've never seen before. Uh, the egg masses from these guys. But that's really cool. Um, I'm going this, I don't know if you guys can hear it in the video, but there is a way bigger uh, chorus of them down along that woods line. So I'm gonna make my way down there and leave these guys alone. Uh, and hopefully I can get hands on an actual adult, but I will let you guys know when I do. So here's a pretty sad but cool find. Um, this is a old shell of a turtle, which from behind, it kind of looks like a wood turtle. It's all coming apart. Yeah, I would say that this was probably a really old shell of a wood turtle. That's pretty cool, pretty sad that obviously the turtle had died, but that's a really cool species uh, for Maryland. One that is, I think they might be marked as threatened in Maryland. But that's really cool to know that they are uh, found in this area. Um, and I'm sure this one probably died maybe from old age. Uh, I see it a lot in this area, especially with box turtles. You just see a lot of uh, dead box turtle uh, from over the years uh, in these areas. So this one probably died, maybe natural causes, maybe a predator got to him. Uh, we'll probably never know. But yeah, pretty interesting find. Um, gonna keep on herping around here, hopefully find a chorus frog, uh, and I'll update you guys when I do. So I've been out here for about an hour now searching for these upland chorus frogs, and I was finally able to get my hands on this male. You can tell they're pretty similar to the more common spring peepers uh, that I show you in my videos. But if you look on the back, and hopefully you guys can see that pattern well enough, but they have those three black blotches or lines going down the body. Um, unlike the spring peepers that have that X on the back. And they're usually, the ones I've seen uh, like I said, I've only seen these once before, but the males around here are usually this darker, uh, darker grayish brown color. And the female that I caught last time was actually more of like an orangey, rusty red color. But this guy's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to stop and take some photos of this dude just because I haven't seen many of these ever before in my life. Uh, and as you can tell, you can hear tons of them probably in the background. So they're everywhere, just it's so dry right now in the grass. So they hear me and they can see me coming before I even get close. And of course they all disappear underneath of all this leaf litter uh, and vegetation that's in these little little ditches, uh, little marshy areas in this field. But that's really cool. Um, gonna quickly take a photo and let him go on his way.
So here's one quick last look of this male chorus frog before. Well, I was to say before I let him go, but he looks like he wants to let himself go. I hope you guys got a good look at his pattern um, outside of my hand to give you an idea of more what this guy looks like. Well, that's really cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and place him back into his vernal pool and we're gonna keep on herping. So I changed locations now and I'm flipping some logs down in this uh, lowland vernal pool area and just flipped a log and found my first one of the year. This is a spotted salamander in C2. Let me get him out for a better look. So this guy's actually kind of small, but really pretty. Oh, come here. Squirmy little dude. Yeah, it's really cool. This is the first one of the year. Um, and I'm not even sure that they have bred yet because I've been walking through here for a while and have not seen any egg masses. That's really cool. Really glad that I finally got to see one for the year. Um, so I'm going to grab a couple photos of this guy, um, let him crawl back underneath of this log, and then I'm going to keep on herping around here. I'm looking, I'm actually looking for marbled salamanders right now. Uh, which is a species that I've never seen in this county, but have been seen in this area before. Um, so I'm going to keep looking for those, and I'll let you guys know if I find any more. Not going to be the greatest video, but right there, hopefully you guys can see them. There are two eastern painted turtles. There's actually a lot that were just on some of these logs through here. But first reptiles I think I've shown on the channel for the year, so that's pretty cool. Um, doubt I'll be able to grab one today. It's already pretty warm outside, so they're pretty active. That's really neat though. Uh, we're gonna keep on herping and hopefully we catch another herp. So I actually was able to catch a turtle today. This is a little baby uh, Eastern turtle. Uh, he's probably not a baby. He was probably born a year or two ago. He definitely wasn't last year's um, hatch of eggs. I've seen a lot of the last year turtles today, and they are still very tiny. But this is really cool. There's a there's a ton of them in this canal that I'm walking on. Um, I just see diving in the water and swimming through the water. So in the process of catching this guy, I got myself soaking wet including my phone which of course i dried off real quick but i'm gonna take a couple photos of this little dude and then i am going to let him go right where i found him and let him swim off Alright, so I was making my way back to the car when this much bigger adult eastern painted turtle, he was just swimming right there, so I just jumped down and grabbed him real quick. He's pretty cool, uh, really pretty. You can see underneath all that red patterning is really beautiful. Um, these guys are actually different subspecies. Um, these are the actual eastern painted turtles. I get the midland painted turtles up where I live. Uh, so I really don't get to see these guys unless I drop down the mountain just a little ways, about an hour away from my house. Um, so pretty cool, gonna grab a few photos of this guy. I'm gonna let him on his way. We're gonna keep on hiking back to the car and maybe try a spot or two before we get headed home tonight and hopefully we can find some more species today. So here is an in situ of a what looks like a ginormous spotted salamander. Which honestly, that thing looks so huge, I would not be surprised if that's the second one, because you can see a head right there and the tip of the tail. 
if that's all one salamander that thing is absolutely giant but let me fish it out it is holy crap holy crap look at the size of that man that's a huge pregnant female spotted salamander that thing is ginormous not only how fat she is look how long she is that's incredible wow this is by far the biggest spotted salamander i have ever seen and i have seen a lot of spotted salamanders that is crazy well i have a ruler in my backpack back at the car i think i might go grab that and give her a measure to see how large she is man that is that is crazy i'm trying to be really gentle with her because she's very very much pregnant so i don't want to cause her too much stress but i'm probably going to put her back in her burrow i'm going to go grab my ruler and i'm going to come back and hopefully she's still going to be here and take a quick measurement of her and see how big she is so i'll update you guys with the number uh when i find out so we just gave this big girl a measurement she is roughly around 221 centimeters which is really close to about nine inches uh which is a very big spotted salamander uh in my opinion gotta check the field guys to see what their estimated range is uh but i know for at least this area of maryland and with my experience with the spotted salamanders that i've caught this is quite quite the chunk of a female spotted salamander but I'm going to go release her right now uh, underneath her log, let her burrow back into the burrow that I found her. Um, and then I'm going to keep on moving through this floodplain habitat. Um, and hopefully we can find maybe a marbled salamander um, and maybe some more spotted salamanders. But I'll let you guys know. So hopefully you guys can hear me over this course of spring peepers. But I just got down to this uh, canal full of water and just flipped the log. And it's a little aquatic salamander swam out. And this is what I think is a larval stage of the marbled salamander. It's really early in the season for uh, spotted salamanders, which I don't even think they've really even started breeding quite yet. Uh, seen a few egg masses so far this year but they really haven't started their breeding so there's no way that it should be a spotted salamander larvae and jefferson salamanders probably just finished up uh laying their eggs so i wouldn't even think this would be a jefferson's larvae so the only thing i can think of is maybe a marble salamander which if it is so that would be my first for this county so that's really cool. I'm gonna keep on herping in this habitat, maybe find an adult, but I'll let you guys know if I do. So next herp is a, uh, this is an adult male spotted salamander. I uh, just found swimming through here. I actually saw a second one uh, with this guy that I couldn't catch. But that's pretty cool. Um, so far I've only seen one egg mass of a spotted salamander which just goes to show that they really have not started their breeding just quite yet uh tomorrow night's going to be a really rainy night uh so that should be really good for spotted salamanders that should get a lot out breeding um a few jefferson salamander eggs in here i think they're pretty well wrapped up for the season with breeding uh and none of the eggs look even close to developed yet um so i highly doubt all the larvae that i'm seeing is here is probably marbled not really sure i don't know much about the marbled salad life stage um just because i've only seen them a handful of times and i've never seen them during the breeding season 
So it's pretty cool. I'm going to let this guy go back in the water. I'm going to keep walking through here and see if I can find anything else. Next turp is another spotted salamander uh, swimming through this little canal. But I already took some photos of him. So I am just going to release him right back into the water. And there he goes. So just found a nice little clutch of spotted salamander eggs. Um, still not a ton of eggs in here yet, uh, which gives me hope that they really haven't done too, too much yet. But I think, uh, oh, there's one right there swimming through. That one looks like a male. Like I was saying, I don't think they've really started too much breeding quite yet. Um, usually in areas like this, there should be hundreds of egg masses and including these guys i've probably only seen maybe 10 uh in this area yet tonight tons of jefferson eggs um but i'm gonna keep searching through here i'm hoping to find a jefferson's too tonight um and then after i get out of here i'm probably gonna start flipping some logs and looking for some marbles uh but i'll let you guys know the next herp i find so spotted salamanders seem to be absolutely everywhere tonight. Um, probably seen about 30 so far. Mostly all males. Males arrive before the females to uh, um, distribute their spermatophore for the females to come and pick up. So most of the individuals I'm seeing are males, a few females. Um, probably not going to catch any more just because I've already caught maybe 20 of them so far. I haven't shown you every single one I caught just because I don't want to get repetitive. But I'm going to keep hiking through here. Oh, there's a big one. Right there. So that's probably, that looks like that one's a female. Yeah, she's kind of chunky. But yeah, I'm going to keep walking through here. Still no Jefferson's. But I'm definitely loving life with these spotted salamanders right now.